Coral are animals. That's one of the most important take home messages um, for today is that they are animals and they are alive and they can reproduce. But it's confusing because they have some features that are rock like and some features that are plant like. And some people think they're plants and some people think they're rocks, but they're really animals. And I'm going to use my hand as, a, as an, an example of, of cor what coral are like. If you look at my hand, um, it's, it has a thin veneer of skin on ske skeleton, which is like a rock. But my, I made the skeleton just like the coral makes the stony part of the reef. In addition, the uh, um, coral have algae that live in their cells that power them. And we have similar kinds of suborganelles we call mitochondria that power our cells. And so um, they are animals, but they have other features that um, make them very interesting. And the reason they're so important for us here on Earth is that they support much of the marine life in our oceans. One quarter of all animals in the ocean live on a coral reef at one time. And so you can think of them as the apartment houses of the ocean. Once those coral reefs disappear, the animals that inhabit them often disappear as well. So they're really important as nursery grounds. Um, they, uh, they are important for our fisheries. And they help support the, the chain of life in our ocean. And the, our oceans produce 50% of our oxygen on Earth. So um, as Prince Charles said, uh, the um, tropical rainforests are the, lungs of the ocean, are the lungs of the Earth. But in reality, it's really the oceans which are the lungs of the Earth. And the coral reefs add to that stability and, and um, ecosystem services that uh, the oceans provide for us.